Welcome back everyone. Now we are going to learn about the carbyl amine. As you can guess, carbyl means carbon and amine means amine. So it will going to be very simple. So let's begin. So the reaction seems quite simple, but we have why I chose to teach you this reaction is for a purpose. The purpose is well, there are technically two purposes. First one, this is the famous reaction that we are going to learn in all the reference book wherever you study in the amines. And the second thing. It is going to teach us so many properties behind that that after this reaction we are going to learn so let's begin with this one so this is as usual one degree of mine and this is chloroform well those of you know applause for them and those of you don't know applause for them either because now you know that okay so this is win-win CS3Cl is known as chloroform and as you can see this is base so we have a base here okay so remember one more thing here that amines are basic in nature so these are basic in nature so when amines are basic in nature we can also say one more thing here that whenever we add amine with acid we are going to get salt because the nature of the mine is base or basic so basic plus acidic gives us salt hmm. so now we know about these things let's know one more thing why a mine is basic well when you are studying with me you should know every possible logic that's behind that so what amine is all about it's all about the nitrogen well you can take hydrogen or CS3 or whatever but it's mainly about the nitrogen so we have nitrogen here and what nitrogen actually do nitrogen take electrons from everything as the number is 2 comma 5 so 5 means it can take up to 3 electrons that's why we add 3 hydrogens mostly in the amine one on our zero degree thing uh, you remember all these things i know that so whatever it is it will going to be have negative charge so when it will have negative charge so the nature is basic but it is not seemingly applicable many times because of the structure the overall structure makes it a positive seemingly element otherwise nitrogen itself is which element hmm, metal or non metal well it's non metal so that itself is interesting it's non metal thing so i'm going to remove this all the things so if you want to see any of these things you may pause the video and can remember all those things because i did not use a separate page for these things so i have to remove it physically so you have to wait for a while and i'm talking to you continuously and we are almost done hmm. good way of saying that i was not using the new page <laughs> okay so this is a base this is second strongest base of course after naoh now the reaction is happening so in this reaction we just require the heat and nothing else just heat it up and it will going to work so when we heat what actually happens the molecule get excited the electron are excited up when the electron excited air it can make and form new bonds better bonds whatever is more stable comes first like in our case the water comes first so in this case the possibility of being the water is the best possible case so water formed first how you can remember these things well i already told you that relate it with our mother earth water is present the most so in any reaction if there is a possibility for the water and rest of the stable products are there so water will form nitrogen will form s2 will form CO2 will form. If the oxygen is lacking, CO will form. If oxygen is more, CO3 will form. And what if SO2 will form, SCL are stable, S2SO4 is stable, and AOH can form. NaCl is pretty much very much uh, that we get, like it's of salt, right? We use it every day. So NaBr should also be stable as chlorine and bromine are brothers. 
and also NAI is also stable as you can see KOH is also just like NaOH maybe a little power difference between uh, potassium sodium but still they are belonging to the same group so it will be the same now what else we can have we can have we can have we can have if NaCl is stable that is stable salt or just simply salt the real salt that we eat every day so KCl will also be a salt and mm, not maybe same but uh, similar kind of the properties are there so these are all the things that we have learned from our earth so you can guess the product when you're learning the chemistry try to become the chemist try to become investigative in nature when you investigate you will learn the chemistry from its core and you do not need to remember or cram every single silly information well it seems silly sometimes it's not silly so you will able to recognize that what silly and what not because you know what exactly is happening so as i said kcl is also stable so we have only left out with one thing which is r and c so r and c is carbylamine why we are calling it carbylamine because of this n and c combination c is carbon and because we have n here we are calling it amine so this is carbyl amine and now the things are getting interesting right r just r you can uh, take anything like we have took r here so we take r here so that's it for this one we are going to see a little more detail about the carbylamine but not in this one we are going to do that in the next one so stick with me take care god bless